Me again, quick video about cleaning tack. Don't do it. Don't clean your tack. Only joking, of course you have to clean your tack, but don't do it too often because over cleaning leather ruins it. The amount of people with ruined leather that I see from over cleaning it, don't do it. Basically, you need to clean your tack when it's dirty. So don't clean it if you don't need to clean it because what happens is, can you see here, it ruins the leather. And don't forget that leather is permeable, which means things soak into leather. So not only do they soak into leather, they soak through leather. So on your seat here, underneath your seat is foam. The amount of saddles that we dismantle and see the foam soaked in oil and cleaner and all that kind of stuff is disgusting and it degrades the foam. You don't want that to happen. Also your panels. Where your flocking is, what's inside here? Flocking. Whatever you're cleaning your tack with soaks through the leather and into your flocking. And when we sometimes we pull flocking out and it's like yellow and bleh, and that's because of being cleaned. Now, obviously you do need to clean your tack, but actually, if I'm honest, I think the most important thing is keeping it moisturized. Don't let it dry out. You don't need to moisturize it to this degree, but you do need to moisturize it when it gets like too dry. You have to think of, I think, leather like skin because it is skin. And if it gets dry and cracked, whack some decent moisturizer on it. I wouldn't say oil it, like needs for oil, there's a time and a place for needs for oil and I think on saddles is very rarely the time or the place. Um, you can get some really good quality balms and balsams and things like that. So personally, I think when your saddle is really dirty, so say you've been hunting or you've splashed it with dirt and it's got mud on it, wait for mud to dry, brush it off, give it a bit of a clean with a good quality soap and leave it. If it looks dry, give it a bit of a conditioning, but don't overdo it because it can get a bit icky. You know what I mean? You know, like sometimes you see bridles, people's bridles, and they're like, it's like they're almost like sludgy where people have like over cleaned them. You don't want to need to do that to leather. Also, like new saddles, when I drop off new saddles, people tend to think that they need to slather them like one woman told me that she every time she gets a new bridle she puts it in a bowl of neat's foot oil for 48 hours don't please don't do that um it's not good for the stitching for starters but it's you just don't need to a good quality saddle and or good quality bridle the leather has so much of its own natural oils it doesn't need oiling nowadays they're good Stirrup leathers, not going to stirrup leathers, girth straps. A lot of people think that new girth straps are very tough and they can be a little bit tough to begin with, but oiling them doesn't change that. Using them changes that. So if you've got stiff stirrup leathers, girth straps even, if you've got stiff girth straps, use them. Do them up, bend them, flex them, because it's that bending and that flexing that softens the leather. So there you go. Don't clean your tack too often. <laughs>